Hello and welcome, it's Julie Kim. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a pour on this beautiful gallery wrapped 12 inch hexagonal, hexagonal, hexagon. Oh, I can never say the word. It's a large hexagonal canvas, hexagonal. Is that the word? There you go. Okie doke, so it's a really nice gallery wrap canvas. So I have given it the treatment and I have taped underneath so it keeps it free from any paint. And I've put my giant push pins in. There's a link down below if anyone is looking for those items. I know that I always get asked. So to begin with, I have mixed this lovely kind of baby blue, duck egg blue. It was just with my white paint and then a good squirt of my turquoise. So this is the color that I'm putting just down for my base on this lovely canvas. But first of all, I am actually going to use my sponge brush. And there's a link for those in my Amazon store as well. Um, and just give it the treatment with my sponge brush. I'm doing this hexagon canvas because I did make my brother who lives in Sydney a really and his wife a really a lovely sort of uh, floral piece. I think it's one of my videos that's had a, a lot of views um, and I resined it and it's absolutely beautiful and I give it my granddaughter when she visited Christmas to take down to Sydney to my brother. Well, my dearest granddaughter has not yet delivered it to my brother because she decided she'd like it on her wall. The little minx. Um, she'd like it herself. So she's got it. And now I'm doing my brother and his wife. Something similar. <laughs> it will never be the same. Right here, I'm trying, I'm going to do a background for this first off before I do the main. Like I said, this one will have several different techniques. So first of all, I have mixed um, the Amsterdam greenish blue with just Australian Floetrol only. No other product, just Australian Floetrol. So, make sure that has plenty of and i'm going to give my so i want to stride start here and do my swipe so i'm going to just put my line of my this just gives a lovely cell effect so i'm going to start here with my cell effect and i do want it quite prominent i want it nice and lacy background so hopefully that may do Ooh, i nearly spilt the whole lot i'm going to use a very soft plastic file divider to do my swipe so just dropping the very end bringing it to me so it's leaving this lovely kind of rain effect background on it did miss a bit there but that's no worries because i will um find something to do in that area for sure oh it's done it again so it kind of yeah it looks like a rainfall waterfall background let's see if i can i'm not worried if there's little bits like that that are because hopefully what i'm planning will um get rid of those areas anyway so just really nice and slow you probably can't see how these cells are just literally popping up they're gorgeous but I'll bring you down for a close-up so you can have a little looky-see Too worried areas that are get missed because I'm 
going to do several techniques in this one, but it already gives it this lovely... Now I'm thinking, should I swap and do that as my... No. Oh. So that was the lovely, 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 lovely swipe. So it's just given me a really nice background. I do want to bring you down and show you these cells. They are so gorgeous. So just bring you down. Do you see what a gorgeous background they give? I mean, it's really delicate and lovely. I mean, you can take photographs of just these monochrome cells, I guess, and use them um, screen savers or prints, whatever you choose, but they're really lovely. So that's just created with, oh, look at that one. That's just created with that, uh, mixing that Amsterdam paint and Floetrol. It's got my normal base. Um, on with the next this stage. my purple. It did have a good squeeze of the dragonfly glaze, which just gives it this absolute glistening effect. So I'm gonna put my purple in, just giving it the wiggle. It's kind of gonna cover that sort of demarcation line up there. Might as well go to there. So it give me a area to go to. It's literally, you can pour it straight from the cup if you if you wish to do so righty oh that's the purple I'm gonna go in there with the um, turquoise bright effect down here I'm gonna add some of this nice bright red it was bright red and I had some fluoro orange a little bit left so I poured it in there too so that gives it a really pop your socks effect so just wiggle it around Jeez Louise, what am I doing? I'm getting butter fingers. Oh, never mind. It's all good. All good. Oh, now another brighty, which is the nice, really bright yellow. So I might get a lot of green come out because I'm adding the yellow. <laughs> but that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Got a lot of flies. It's just coming into summer, I believe. I suppose we're in autumn, what they'd say. Not autumn, spring. Springy sprung in, in Australia. But we're getting a lot of flies. Okay, this is the fluoro orange on its own. So, because you know, I just love, love, love bright colours. I'm going to put some of this in here. And then I'll just add some, of course I'm gonna add some gold. Why not? This is metallic gold, and this sort of will make all the other paints um, have like a sheeny, like a glittery effect. So if you like a little bit of bling like I do, you add that. And the last one, I guess, ooh, be some white so hopefully it will make the whole thing pop pop your socks maybe all those lovely colors are going to come through i hope <laughs> you hope so radio I'm a, oh, got an itchy nose. I mean, a surprise. I'm going to just give it a gentle tilt upwards. Right. 
very gently. And now the same down. Sort of tilting to one side and then the other. So the colours just slowly slide over each other instead of having the opportunity to go muddy. They're just sliding over each other. So just do it really nice and slowly. And then to the other side, nice and slow. And then just recenter your paint so it's not all sitting in one spot over that one side. I think that should have recentered it. I'm going to pour some of that. The actually, I might do it with the darker purple. So, this is the same, it was the purple mixed with the Amsterdam. Uh, the Amsterdam purple mixed with my flow troll. So I'll do the same. I want to get some nice lacy um, lead, uh, effects, soft, wispy effects. Now I'm going to go the big guns, but this might take too much up there. But I'm going to risk it for a Swiss kit. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna bring some tendrils using a choppy sticky thing. And I just bring some up from the paint. Hey puppy dogs, you've gotta be patient puppy dogs. Yeah. Take them all the way up, high as you like. Radio, next stage. So that's gorgeous. When I bring you down, you will see that that's turned out really lovely. So what I'm going to do here is 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 thinking I might go is the uh, Amsterdam black with. Flow troll. So hopefully you'll get my drift. As I said, this is going to have several different techniques to it. So just get a piece of the soft plastic file divider again and swiping it just over the top of the colours. It brings up these beautiful. Um, gems when you look close because all of those colors are underneath so just very gently um dragging your little plastic swipey thing just over the top of all those colors so you're not pressing down too hard on it at all so it's just bringing up the colours so they look like gems. Go here again. Beautiful, beautiful. You can hear the birds outside. Every, everybody seems to be getting geared up for summertime. Rightio. So there's two little stages. I'm going to do just along this band here, my nice soft balloon. I'll just move some things so I've got an area to wipe my balloon off. Just a balloon kiss. You can put your balloon kiss onto another canvas or onto anything because they're beautiful. So it just gets rid of that black line, which is what I want. So 
So if you've got your paint in the correct consistency, um, your balloon kiss won't sort of all fall in. But if it does, you can walk, walk away from your painting, go and have a cuppa and leave it to kind of dry off for about um, it, 20 minutes or more. Depending on what your weather conditions are like, you know, so it allows the paint to absorb into the canvas. And then when you come back, it'll be easier for you to do the balloon kiss. So I've just got a small balloon that's got a little bit of water in it, just to give it a little bit of weight. And then I go back in, in the center of those bigger balloon kisses, it sort of defines the area in the center a lot better, or a lot nicer, I should say. You can wait to do that too which I'll probably will go back over that area. Rightio. So another nice thing to do is, which I should have done, using the paint, where you're balloon kissing is that beautiful balloon kiss. Some of them then can go in your artwork further up. So it becomes like they look like fireflies or butterflies. So if you've got any little gaps then they look just divine in there again look even um kissing your balloon in just that laciness gives a really lovely effect when i bring you down close you'll see the lovely effect that it can give even without any color in there this one providing everything goes to plan because it is going to be for my brother and his wife um i will give this a coat of resin i did do that to the last one that jd pops confiscated little minx so they just look like delicate little Butterflies and fireflies, I'm going to leave it at that because you can get carried away. But I'm actually going to see what a chain pull. So it's a dry chain, just doing a dry chain pull in some of these areas instead of a balloon kiss to see if it creates. Oh yes, I'm not sure if you're seeing that, but that is lovely. Um, try and I have got um, a glass of water there that I put my chain straight into but because I'm going to use the same one I'm going to just keep wiping it so this might be nice to try on a bigger you know bringing them all the way down from the top but that's it's just giving a different effect than a balloon kiss so just wiggle it and then pull it down towards you. I still want to leave some of those gorgeous cells in there because they're very uh, gem-like. I think probably that's enough. Oh, just look at these gorgeous gems at the bottom. That is where I did the little chain pull. It's left a very delicate effect because there's still quite a lot of thick paint there. Um, and then of course the gorgeous balloon kisses and the sort of wavy effects there. Really beautiful. I, I really am happy with it. So remember that's all you have to do is please yourself. Um, criticism doesn't uh what is it misery has no home here <laughs> yeah. uh, so everything i do i try to do to please myself and then if i'm gifting it or selling it then you just hope that the person's happy with it so there's a few of the little chain pulls that kind of fell in a bit but they fell in like a really lovely effect so i'm super duper happy with that one so thank you so much for joining me until tomorrow, my lovelies, please let me know if you like it. Is it good enough to give for a gift for my brother and his wife? I think it's beautiful. I love it. Bye for now. So this is the finished piece, all dried and resined. 
I put a bit of the dragonfly glaze in the resin, as you can see. See the sparkle in the dragonfly glaze? So it's all completely dry, finished. Looks exactly the same as it did wet. Now it's got a coat of resin. All dry, ready to go to my brother when he um, when I get to see him again. So really, really super duper happy with that. Happy that I put the dragonfly glaze in the resin. Just adds a little bit of bling and who doesn't love a bit of bling? So really hope you enjoyed that one guys. Until tomorrow, bye for now.